Hey ladies and gentlemen, how are we today? I really hope we are doing what we can to stay strong throughout these tough times. But of course, we are back again with another Miss Alexander Rodriguez video. Now, I do really believe that this is the solution based on the conversations that I've had. But before we get into it, let's start off by giving a big massive shout out to every single person that is a member of the channel, including every single person that is a subscriber as we continue to grow on the road to 12K. But listen, ladies and gentlemen, I've had a few conversations with a few different people, okay? And the most re reoccurring thing is that people now believe that the best thing for Miss Alexander Rodriguez, because nobody, and I mean nobody wants to see her, see, wants to see her counseled. Nobody wants her to stop doing YouTube. No one wants her to stop doing what she loves. But all people want is the truth. So therefore... The solution is that people believe that the best thing that could happen is if Miss Alexandra Rodriguez would be extremely open to having a conversation with myself on camera. Whether that, whether that video will be uploaded on my page or on her page or whether it will be live on either one, that will be entirely up to her given the fact that she does accept. Now for this to happen, Miss Alexandra Rodriguez would have to reach out to me simply because she has blocked me on social media. Now, because of that, obviously she would have to unblock me and then message me, right? And here's the thing. Do I believe that she would even consider doing this? Absolutely not. But I'm going to tell you why I believe that Miss Alexandra Rodriguez should be open to having a conversation with myself. The first thing that I want to show you is this. When you type in the name Miss Alexandra, no, the, the name Learning to be Fearless. The first thing that you see is, of course, her. But this is interesting. Three days ago, a video was made about her by someone I had no idea was making videos, right? As you can see, uh, Vicky Vibes. Then we had one by the Christina Way. Then we go on here by uh, a Diet Divan. Then we go on here by Megan Ann. We go on, obviously we got the, the, the this is the one, yeah, we know this one, yes, yeah. And then we got one here by um, Confidently Plus. They go on here by Comment T. I mean, this person literally just made an account just to make a video. Alex is shook, stories from the internet, okay? Um, that lends even A, okay? And this is what happens that when, when you type in that name. And every single one of these videos, or at least most of them anyway, are titled in a way that is not showing her in the best of lights. Now let's move on to what happens when you type in Miss, when you type, uh, Miss, when you type in Alexandra Rodriguez. As you can see, of course, she comes up first. But then after that, you go on here from Who Is She? You go on here from the situation, the obviously from Obese to Beast, you've got Megan Lee again, Megan Ann, sorry, you've got Vicky again, and then obviously you've got this dude, <laughs> then you got herself, okay, and it, 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 it continues, it continues, okay, and the thing that is most recurring here is that we are seeing multiple and multiple of different people talking about her, so therefore, no matter what happens when you go on YouTube and you type in either, na either name, what are you going to see? Her name, and her name isn't exactly being put in the best of lights, okay, now, why though, why have a conversation with myself? Well, here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, you know what? Before we even get into that, then we get into the pinnacle one. We get into the juggler. And the reason why I call this a juggler is because this is the person that has the most subscribers than anyone else. So therefore, he's going to have more influence than anyone else. And the fact that this man picked it up, I wouldn't say it's a big deal, but it obviously means that this conversation that is happening right now with her name is definitely something everyone wants to talk about because it's going to bring them uh, uh, views, right? You know what I mean? Now... Obviously, this is not in his normal domain of videos, you know, Mr. Greg over here, Coach Greg. But as you can see, even he's going to have his way to make a video about her as well. In fact, oh, it's all hunky dory until you get caught lying. And as you can see, he's definitely keeping the same type of energy he does in his most videos with that pure energy aggression. You know what I mean? Now, the fact that he's obviously been like, listen, this ain't even in my in my in my domain. But boy, things are happening right right now around, around this woman. Pfft. Let me get in on this, man. You know what I'm saying? Let's get that paper, you know? Either way, either way, either way, it shows that something that started a mere nine months ago on YouTube. And, when I, and the reason I say a mere nine months ago is because when I tried back, I noticed that the first video that from, from what I saw was from a YouTuber called Who Is She? She Is Back. That was nine months ago about Miss Alexander Rodriguez. Now, since then, several videos were also made by the same YouTuber, okay? And others. But there was never this impact that really made an, an, an effect on Miss Alison Rodriguez. She still continued by her day doing her thing, still getting the same amount of likes, the same kind of views, okay, which is fantastic for her. But then she was then presented to myself. 
I then made a video about her and for whatever reason, people liked the way I made it, that, that I made the video. And therefore, I started getting more and more people reaching out to me to make videos about Miss Alison Rodriguez. And in my opinion, and based on every single person that's reached out to me and also comments on those videos, no matter how, no matter how deep the situation was, I mean, the, the video was, I always delivered it in the most respectful way where I did not bash her in any kind of platform. I did not call her any names. I did not do anything unnecessary. Anything that I did in the videos was done because the evidence was there, but not in any kind of capacity did I ever sit there and scream and shout at her. And the reason I say this is because I do not have any single hate for this woman, okay? I am just disappointed. And there's a lot of other people who are just disappointed. And there's a lot of people who are very, very upset because of the lies that she has done for such a long time amongst the deleting as well amongst the fact that she likes to treat people one way but she doesn't like to be treated the same way back okay and so therefore my video for for whatever bizarre for, for whatever reason decided to grow and therefore we started to see after the videos that i made they made an impact on her because you could see she started to act slightly different within her videos she even started to make videos looking for sympathy okay now within that timeline itself alone we've seen other things happen and one of the other things that's happened is people will go into her lives on instagram and they will do whatever they can to stop her from getting whatever do that she's trying to get to be fair i've even heard i don't know if this is true to be honest i really hope it's not true but i have even heard that people have even started to contact some of the brands and sponsors that she works with to not use her anymore and it's probably it's probably because i've always said this the people that help you build your empire are the same people that can take you down. And that is what is basically happening now. But the question is, what do the people want? They want the truth. But people are only going to believe the truth if she does, if she has a conversation, I guess, with the person that has done, I guess, the most, that has made the most impact to her YouTube career. And sadly, that happens to be me, right? So therefore, the reason. So therefore, this is why I say she should, she should really highly consider having a conversation. Now, the conversation she has with me is not going to be an interview. I'm not looking to, you know, write down a few questions and then ask her questions that I know that she's going to answer, and then, you know, let her answer them and sit there as if I like, and and and, and let her answer them and then sit there knowing that I don't believe them and say, okay, you said what you said, let's go. No, that's not that's not what's going to happen here. Okay, I'll keep it very very uh, a buck with you. Okay, what I want to do. And what I've been suggested to do, to be fair, is I want her to have a conversation with me. A raw, real, stripped down, you know, like conversation. And in the conversation, this is what I'm saying. It's only going to begin in one way. Tell me, where did this all begin? Okay. Now, obviously, at that moment in time, as you know me, I keep it 100 all the time. We tolerate no madness out here. Okay. And with that being said, obviously, of course... I'm going to let her know now what she, should, what she should expect. Of course, I'm going to keep it respectful. That's what I do regardless, okay? But at the same time, if I feel at any point that maybe she's not being true by something, I will say to, I will say to, to Ms. Adam Rodriguez, but be honest though, is the answer you're giving right now the answer? Because at the end of the day, I want her to walk away from the conversation that we, we hopefully will have with people now being like, okay, cool. She's finally confessed to everything that we wanted to know. She's finally opened up. Let's all just move on. It may not be everyone, to be fair, because there's a lot of people who are still going to want more. People always want more. Come on now. But it's getting down to the logistics, the things that matter the most. And the most important thing is that if you can, re if you can suppress, reduce the amount of people that are now coming over to your page and giving you the amount of dislikes that you are now getting, and the comments that even though you delete them, but we know you're still reading them and all the comments that you're getting to reduce that. The best way is to have that conversation where people can be like, okay, cool. We, we believe you now. We, under, we you know what I mean? But here's the thing that I want to say, okay? I do not believe in cancel culture. Most people on this channel, or if not, we don't believe in cancel culture. We just believe in accountability. We believe in someone opening up and telling us the truth. Not for us to judge them for those things, but for us to be like, okay, you could have just said that the first time and we would have all, and we would have all understood, okay? That's all it's going to be about. Nothing else but that, okay? And everybody knows already that I know how to conduct myself in the correct manner, regardless of any pressures that's put towards me. 
So therefore, you can trust that without a doubt. But at the end of the day, like I said, this is my open invitation. Not to be fair, that's a lie. This is not my open invitation. This is an open invitation for us to have a conversation for the benefit of every single person that needs their closure from your behavior. And also at the same time, for the benefit of you being able to continue doing what you do, for you to continue doing what you love to do best. And that is being a YouTuber and making some money. Okay, to obviously live a life, you know, and obviously be able to sponsor yourself in videos without being asked X, Y, Z. But at the end of the day, this is a choice for Miss Alexander Rodriguez to make. And um, hopefully she makes the choice that involves her coming over here. If she doesn't, then obviously it's up to her, you know what I mean? I, I, I mean, I would, I would completely understand if she didn't. But at the same time, you know, this is something that I, that I think is, is, re is needed to be happened because at the end of the day, we all want to see, I mean, I mean, for me anyway, at least, and also, we all want to see everyone win. But at the same time, sometimes we, we, we make votes and everyone deserves a chance to right their wrongs, you know? Like I said, this isn't going to right all the wrongs, but at least it's going to right off a lot of them and people will be like, okay, cool, let's let her do a thing now. They may, not con they may not follow you ever again, but at least you can continue building your platform with a clean slate. But listen, ladies and gentlemen, you let me know what you think about the proposal that has been put forward here by myself and other people that told me to do this as well. Okay. Would you guys like to see myself and Miss Alexander Rodriguez have a conversation about where this all started and I vibe off whatever she says? Let me know what you think. Okay. And hopefully, whatever you lovely people think, hopefully that those things can then be read by Miss Azan Rodriguez or whoever's a part of her team who definitely does watch the videos, without a doubt. Especially mine, they're probably number one target right now. I don't know, but either way, maybe if the people comment down below saying that, listen, we want this to happen, and this is, you know, people say they want this to happen because, you know, X, Y, Z. I would say give the people what they want because the people are the ones that make you who you are. Make us all. But nonetheless, I will see you lovely people in the comment section as always. And uh, thank you everyone for your time. And Miss Alexander Rodriguez, hopefully we have you on the show. Hopefully we can have a conversation. If not, I understand. You know, because obviously I've been in the videos, but at the same time, Look at the bigger picture. Peace.